Meghan Markle's dossier of ludicrous claims dismantled Dutch Duchess defies historical fact. Meghan Markle unleashed a dossier of ludicrous claims in her and Prince Harry's interview with Oprah Winfrey, according to a royal commentator. Dan Wooten blasted the Duchess of Sussex over her claims in the TV interview, which aired earlier this month. The journalist, who is to be a presenter on new TV channel GB News, insisted Meghan's allegations defied long-dated royal protocols. Historical fact and basic believability. Mr. Wooten cited royal staff he had spoken to who worked during her tumultuous two years as a member of the royal family. Writing in his Mail Online column, he said, Meghan was allowed to share her truth as she branded it, to Oprah Winfrey without even the slightest hint of scrutiny. That's despite the fact she unleashed a dossier of ludicrous claims that defied long-dated royal protocols, historical fact and basic believability. According to many staff members I've spoken to who lived through her tumultuous two years as a member of the royal family. Meghan and Harry made a series of explosive allegations about the royals during their controversial interview. Prince William angrily denied accusations of racism against the monarchy when he stepped out for an engagement days later. And the royals made clear they did not agree with all of the Sussex's version of events. The statement issued by Buckingham Palace in the wake of the interview highlighted how some recollections may vary. A number of Meghan and Harry's revelations to Winfrey have since been questioned. Former actress Meghan claimed they secretly married in their backyard three days before their royal wedding. But the couple's spokesman was later forced to clarify this was an informal exchange of vows. Meghan also suggested her son Archie was not made a prince because of his race. But he is not entitled to be an HRH or a prince due to rules set out more than 100 years ago by King George V. The Sussexes quit royal duties in March 2020 for a new life in America. The couple, who are expecting their second child, are living in a mansion in California. They have signed lucrative deals with Netflix and Spotify to make shows and podcasts.